hello my name is Marion. welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm just going to um, tell you all how you can become an mri technologist um, there are several things you can do you can either do the program where you are becoming an mri tech and you can also work as an x-ray tech ct tech mammography tech ultrasound tech or you can choose a program where you don't have to be in x-ray tech you can just go through mri school there are a lot of programs out there like this now where you can just skip x-ray school but um, the way i did it i was licensed through art as a radiologic technologist and then i did ct first and then mri but you don't have to do ct first if you want to do it that way where you are registered through art um, you can take online courses or you can find a program in your local area. I will say the MRI tech program, if it's through ART, if you go through a college, it will probably take about a year because you will already have your x-ray tech license. So that would kind of like give you like credits off because you will only need a certain amount of classes like your physics, your sectional anatomy because you have already taken all of the other basics whenever you went through your x-ray program. And if you choose not to do your x-ray tech first, then your MRI tech program probably will take closer to two months, um, but you have to find like another organization that will just allow you to do just MRI. There are several programs out there. You just have to go online and find it. I did my MRI tech program online. It was just convenient for me because I was working. So um, my online program, the teacher will just give you the material you need. They will let you know the books you need. And then my program found a clinical site for me in my local area. And there are other like avenues you can take as far as pursuing like an MRI tech um, license. You can also, if you are with ART, you can go online and find different continuing education courses for MRI, and you can do like a self course where you take your courses at your own pace. If you are busy with life, then you do not have to worry about following a strict schedule where you have to be done, let's say in six months, but you do have to be done within two years because the clinical exams that you are getting, let's say through ART, then that will start to aspire. So if you do have a hospital that will cross train you, most of the time they will pay for you to get those MRI certifications. Um, the suggestion I would make is if you want to pursue other modalities like X-ray, CT, work in ultrasound, you don't know if you want to stay in MRI or work in other radiology modalities, it's better to get your credentials through ART because you can freely um, train in other modalities. You can freely work in other modalities. If you find a program where it's just x-ray only, oh, I'm sorry. If you find a program where it's just MRI only, then you won't be able to work in x-ray. You won't be able to work in CT. So that's just up to you to decide if you want to do the program where you can work in other radiology modalities or if you want to just find an MRI only school. The price I had to pay for my MRI certification, not certification, the price I had to pay for my MRI school was probably $2,000. I don't know if it's because I was like already an x-ray tech and CT tech first, and this was just a price they gave me for already being in radiology, or if it was just because it was just an extra certification and I know some MRI schools, if you just do just MRI only, it can be a little bit more expensive than that. So just take time to find what you want to do, whether you want to do just MRI only, you don't want to do anything else, or if you think you may want to do CT. I know a lot of MRI techs, they do both CT and MRI. You don't have to, but I know a lot of MRI techs do both, or they may work in x-ray then you have some people who have gotten CT and MRI certification and they don't do x-ray at all or they just do only MRI or they just do only CT. So it's up to you. Um, I hope I answered all of the questions that you may have. 
If not, feel free to leave a comment or you can give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Um, I hope you all enjoy this video. Thank you. Bye.